Hey, how's everybody doing today? Oh, thank God it's Saturday. I was contacted, this is crazy, I was contacted like a week and a half ago by someone from Virginia, actually. Well, anyways, long story short, they asked me if I was interested in getting a good deal. They watched my videos and they asked me if I was interested in getting this Thrustmaster F16 grip. So, I already have the wind wing one, but it was such a hassle with my other cockpit. I just ended up putting it back in the box and it's sitting there because, it, like I said, it was just such a hassle hooking everything up to that. Now with this new cockpit, I think it's going to be a much easier thing to do. But anyways, this guy told me what this cost, so I looked it up and he was right. Hey, they're pretty damn expensive without the control panel. And I was actually, now that I think about it, I'm actually glad it didn't have it because what I think I'm going to do is I was looking at it and just keep this real sharp, but now they make this base metal. Before it looked like it was plastic. But anyways, I'm going to put a two inch piece of probably quarter inch steel plate from there to there so I can leave this open without having this thing there. Put it on one of my mounts and put it on a slide bracket so I can slide it back and forth. Use my controls on my F-18 and my PTO too, my wind wing setup. All I basically need is the handle. Let's get this little uh, emergency chaff button. So I think that might work. I mean, I'm always doing something. If it doesn't, I'll just have to like make it so that one mount folds forward, which isn't a hard thing to do. I can cut a little notch in it, slide it up, line it with the hole that's already there so it falls in. I was looking at that. I'm going to figure out some kind of way I can mount this, maybe put it on a slide rail and get it in there. Now, as far as a quick little review from what I've seen, the body quality of this, it's a nice plastic, it's heavy duty, but it is nowhere near close to wind wings. I'm happy that it didn't have the control panel because I have more than enough controls over there. Good lord, I haven't even used all the buttons that I have for the F-18. Between the PTO and uh, Top Gun panels and all that stuff, I've got plenty of buttons. So I'm glad I can use my PTO too along with it. Hey, it's just in the game, it's just the controls. So, I got this for like half price for what it's going for online. I was a little worried it was going to come and it wasn't even going to work, guys. But for the price, I took the chance. I hooked it up, updated the uh, firmware. Obviously, the guy didn't do it. It still had the plastic all on it. I peeled that off. That little, it feels definitely different than the wind wing. The wind wing, the, the roller baron, the wheel, that glides on the wind wing. It's on a nylon baron, so it's a lot softer. It's a lot quieter, a little bit smoother. And I kind of, I'm not really fond of the way you tighten the friction on this. I think they could have used the heavier duty Allen key screw that goes in there. That little tiny thing really, <laughs> they, they could have definitely beefed that up a little bit more. But I'm not saying it's bad. As far as the handle, my biggest gripe with Win Wing is they put, now this is my biggest gripe with a lot of aftermarket companies that try to do these one for ones and stuff like that. They always got to throw their own ideas in. People are flying a simulator because they want to simulate the real thing. Now, does it come in handy? Yeah, you got this little thing right here they added in. I guess I could probably put a zoom on that, which I already have on the other control. And instead of having the push buttons, little, they're like little nipples, little tabs under there, little nipples. And they put a little handle. That's a blackout button. That's what it's used for in the other one. So whatever but it kind of feels a little weird the way it's set up but all in all the handle is definitely superior to the wind wing one they've got this knob that was my biggest gripe with wind wing why they wouldn't put this knob on there much better and the chaff flare button much better idea so that's my basic quick thoughts on how this works i'm going to try to get this mounted and then i'll show how it looks if i can get something figured out. And for, like I said, fortunately, I didn't program it in the game. I just went in the game after I calibrated and updated the firmware. And I just made sure I could assign a couple of the buttons real quick. I don't even know if they were the right assignments, but it did work. So I'm pretty happy. I didn't get ripped off. I was worried about that. The guy was going to eBay it out. He was probably going to get, prob I, I would imagine he would have got close to the regular price because I've seen them on there and they're not going cheap. So he hooked me up. Thank you so much. If you're watching this, which I'm sure you will eventually, really, really thanks a lot. It gives me the opportunity 
to review this product at the same time and I get to try to align everything over there and come up with some kind of idea so I can have my F-18 set up and get my F-16 set up. I just got a Winwing F-16 grip. I ordered this from Winwing about a week ago. No, two, no, what am I saying? It was more than a couple weeks ago. It came in the other day. It very, I love this quality on this. This, this is just... The whole bottom of this, how thick it is, how wide it is, it just reinforces the, the, the handle so much. And when I first got my wind wing, I, I mentioned it in the other videos, when I first got the base for the joystick, I really wasn't thrilled. I felt kind of you could have used a heavier duty spring. So I did pick up something a little bit heavier and I put it in yesterday. And actually, it's nowhere near as hard as like I had the Verpal set. And I think I kind of overdid it with the Verpal. I really like it. I really like that F-18 handle. I really like this F-16 handle. And I think this is the way I'm going to go. I think I'm going to put the Verpal off to the side for a, for a minute and just play around with wing wing stuff and test out this Thrustmaster along with the uh, rest of my setup. Anyways, let me get off of this thing and get to work on the stuff. So we'll be back.